Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Wednesday, and it means we're using Mermails. So, there's no slate today. Uh, I've just been messing up all over the place. I, I apologize. I didn't want to be messing up like this, but I just am. So, uh, I mean, even I don't know why it's post commentary. I've just been super busy and super tired lately, so I do definitely apologize for uh, uh, today's content. Anyway, there's no slate today, so. Instead, I'm just going to tell you guys about my uh, tournament that I went to. Uh, of course, uh, you know, uh, Dev Pro updated, so now the new list is in effect, and everything is just awesome and dandy and good, and I also opened up with the Gen X controller, because I decided to put in Gen X Undyne, because Undyne is, like, super good. Like, I'm so, I'm so serial. Like, Gen X Undyne is, like, so good. So, uh, we're just going to go ahead and get it started. Like, Mermels went unhit, therefore Mermels are still good, and therefore they're still gonna be on Daily Duels. It's been on Daily Duels for over a year. Oh my god. It's the only deck on Daily Duels I still remain from beginning till now. Only deck. Only deck. The new rules in effect, uh, Banlist 2, so, you know, you can run two rotas now. Yeah. And, uh, uh, the the whole drawing effect is an effect, so you know my opponent only drew five cards instead of six. They have it as obsolete rules, so you can actually click the box and play with the obsolete rules now. But yeah, fine. That got hit. I mean, uh, I don't mind the rule change. I'll probably still be going first because setup is important. Gaga magician. Okay, well I'm just asking to get Felgrand. That's pretty much the gist of this. That's about to occur right now. Just I'm pretty much saying, please Felgrand me. And phase MST, of course. No, that's fine. Of course you have it. No, no, no. <sighs> Go ahead. So I actually went down to uh, my locals on uh, on Monday, and I decided to enter a tournament. It's it's a fairly new locals. Uh, you know, not a lot of uh, uh, people in the tournament so far. Okay, so you're going to turn to 6, then you're going to summon your, your kid or your sister, whatever the hell, and she's going to go increase level by 2, and you're going to make a Felgrand, and I'm going to fucking lose, because Felgrand is too goddamn strong. Yup. So, she's going to, what, increase the level by 2, or does she copy it? I think she copies the level. Comes at level 1, so you can't conduct your, uh, your battle phase. Alright, so. I don't know. Maybe you're making them 7? I don't, I don't know. Maybe, uh... Gauntlet Launcher, maybe uh, Photon Strike Bouncer. Don't know what you're going into. Oh, the Magician, so I can't activate Spells and Traps. I don't have a lot of Spells and Traps in this deck anyway, so... Tell you the truth, that really wasn't the smartest of plays, because then now you can't conduct your battle phase. Therefore, that means that you've left my monster on the field. Therefore, that means that I can go ahead and snatch up your damn monster with a 101 if your back row is not something to have the answer to my play. I'll go ahead and pitch Gen X Undyne because I can always A, get another one and B, it's fine. Uh, hey, you know, give me a Gen X Undyne. Pitch a Gen X Undyne to get a Gen X Undyne. Too pro, too pro. This opening hand is not the best of hands. The best of hands is the worst of hands. We're going to go ahead and make a like okay, Exton, I have one, two, now I'm up on resources. Alright, so, what I wanted this. <laughs> so, my locals, this new, lo it's a new locals, it's not that big. Uh, not a lot of people entered the tournament. You probably have the background. Oh, wow, you really don't have the background. You really do not have the answers to my play right now. Fiendish Chain, Breakthrough Scale, something? No. Alright. Alright. Alright, yeah. Alright, I guess I'll just kill your monster, I guess. Really thought you would have something, you know, not conducting that battle phase, not be able to kill my monster. Another Mystic Tomato. All right. Okay. I'm probably gonna dark hole you. Yeah, I'm gonna dark hole you. I'm most definitely gonna dark hole you. I'll just detach your monster. I'm gonna dark hole you. I don't want you to have the Gaga Gun Magician. I'll neg myself to stop your play. Yeah, of course I'll work destruction. You can't read damn addition back, I don't care. <sighs> Go ahead. 
because that the magician will as well allows you to go on. So how about now? Uh, so there's like I'd say probably about 16 people entered. Not a lot of people entered. It was a five dollar tournament, and the store is so new that shit, they didn't really didn't have anything. That's how sad it was. Uh, they didn't even have sleeves. They didn't even have some Yu-Gi-Oh sleeves. I wanted to get some Yu-Gi-Oh sleeves for my deck, and they didn't have any. At first, they all they had was pink and brown. I don't want neither one of those. And then it turned into, ooh, risky. Then it turned into those sleeves getting bought, and they had no sleeves. So yeah, Cosmo Queen. Okay. Another back row. Okay. 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 Oh yeah, I can summon Genex Ondine and Ondine can search me for another controller. I heard you like searching for a controller. Yep, I'll go ahead and summon Undyne. Sure, we'll use your effect. Undyne has been very useful in the deck as of late, being able to just send, you know, monsters to the graveyard. I uh, guess we'll go ahead and send Tidal, since, you know, you want to have Tidal in the grave. Uh, do I really care about popping one of his set cards? That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. Also, I need to put Goyo in here. Kind of forgot about Goyo. I can send Lantern Dragoons, and Dragoons can search me for, uh... Sea Serpent. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and do that. So, like I said, the, the, the locals really didn't have much to, to offer so far. So, uh, you'll go ahead and go off and get me... So I can get any Sea Serpent. Ooh, I can get Diva. I didn't know Diva Sea Serpent. Sure, give me Diva. I'm making a, a Marty's next turn. I'm, 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 I don't know what's his name. <laughs> so, I decided to enter with my, uh, my Constellar Artifacts. Because I thought they would do good. Still testing them, working on the deck. Uh, actually, now I'm debating on the thing is that, uh... And Constellars, is it really worth running the second rota? Is the question right now. Because there's only one ro warrior in the deck. It's Pollux, I say. So is it really worth risking running the two rotas just for one Pollux? I mean, and the thing is, Pollux is no cost. I mean, cost is the leader of the deck. You know, uh, I run, of course, I'm going to run Triple Tanky because I run the artifacts, so the artifacts can go off with cost. So that's the reason why. But, you know, Pollux, on the other hand, I don't know. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think about that. You know, if you ran Constellars or, you know, evil, even Evil Storm as well, you know, would you run the run the two Rotas for just your, your caster or just your Pollux? Anyway, I decided to enter with that deck and uh, the tournament started uh, round one. Oh, the tournament had a whole bunch of Madoji players. Like, I know the 16 players, I think like five or six of them were um, actually... Uh, Okay. That's a nice top deck. That was a beautiful top deck, actually, because you can go ahead and get Gagaga Shield. Okay, I thought you were going to get that Revival card to bring back your Magician, then copy the level, and then... Unless you already have it face down. It's probably... You. Yeah, you do. you got to get Revenge face down. That was a nice top deck. I'll give you that. So you're probably going to you know, bring him back, make him 6, make her... Make them 8, make a Felgren. I'm guessing. That was a nice top deck, though. Nope, just gonna straight up copy him now. Alright, so both six. You're gonna make another one of the Magician guys? What type was he? It was light. Okay. I guess I... Do I run Katastra? I don't think so. I think I actually took him out. Another one of the Magician guys? No, fucking uh, magic, magic, magic girl. All right, but you don't. Okay, I don't know. Oh, you just banish one card in your hand and apply one of the effects. Okay. Okay, you want monster? Take it. Take it. Don't eat it like that. I might run a lot of darkness in here, because these freaking controllers are just, ugh. They are not working right now. Oh, 
Okay. And what's this? Another Call of the Haunted? Yes, it is, and that's game. And you have more than enough damage to beat me. Oh, gonna turn him into Dark Magician of Illusions, of course. And I should probably, I said, I, when I was looking at it and it was like, you know, OCG, TCG, I was like, you know what? I don't care. I don't care. I care now. I probably should have just selected TCG because I didn't know I was gonna get my ass beat by shit that's not even out and <laughs> hasn't came out, not, hasn't came out, so yeah, that's what I get. That's what I get. I, I, I asked for this ass beating. I asked for it. I said, please, sir, whoop my ass so hard. Slap my cheeks right off my ass. Another card that's not even out, right? Yep. Yeah, you got it. You clearly got it. So, I will go ahead and get another duel in. We're back. Alright, back. So, there were so many Madoche players. Like, oh my god. I haven't seen so many Madoche players. But, you know, they're like, oh, didn't get hit. So, I'm still going to be running them Madoches too strong. What you know about that? Let's <laughs> set you. And, uh... Pass. So round one, I actually go up against one of the Madoche players, and uh, he pretty much goes off, out resources me completely, just whoops my ass. He two owes me, and it, it was just a sad sight to see. <laughs> so I started off already shitty. I'm already, <laughs> I'm already X1 round one. Like all right, all right, some kind of dragon rule variant. Ugh. Yeah, all right. You gonna send the Cut Swiver or are you gonna send the Dragon Ruler? Surprisingly, I didn't face this deck or any Light Swarm Ruler variant in uh, the tournament, surprisingly. Mm hmm. Oh my god, it's like fucking episode one of Daily Duels all over again. When did he send. Oh, he banished the Redox from his hand. Wow. So he opened up. Ooh, wow, with two Dragon Rulers. Limited to one, open up with him. First turn Felgren? Oh, most definitely first turn Felgren. I had the Water Dragon, first turn Felgren. Too fucking strong. Yep, here it comes. Here it motherfucking comes. <sighs> I just can't do it today. <laughs> uh. Yay, Felgren. Fucking Felgrand's a dick. Yay! Didn't see that coming. Shocked. First turn Felgrand. Didn't see it coming. Alright, well now I gotta do it. Fucking Felgrand. Alright, so round two. I duel against... Setup is still important. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. That's incorrect. Still, setup is important. You're just lucky I'm not running any back row, because if I was running back row, then I would have clearly stopped you, but not, so. So I don't know why you're saying, oh, going for, going for shocks now. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. <sighs> you still opened up with fucking a ton of the Dragon Rulers, so once again, Dragon Rulers are just being a pain in the dick like usual. not a neg one, you just don't draw. Okay, whatever. I really don't care. Not even in the slightest. Alright, how the fuck am I gonna get out of this situation? It's a good question, Daniel. How the fuck do you fight a Felgrand? I don't know. I don't fucking know. Fucking marksman ain't shit right now. 
I don't know. I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to fight a Felgran. Fucking Felgran's a dick. Everything that I, I can possibly summon will either be negated or fucking Felgran is stronger. Oh my god, why'd they make Felgran? They knew what they were doing. They knew. They were like, Felgran, make them too broke. Go ahead and get another duel and bear back. Uh, over a year and ain't nothing changed. Fine, I'll go second. It really doesn't matter. This deck can go first or second, so it really doesn't matter. This hand, I would like to go first, though. <sighs> anyway, uh, I go against Gishki's round two, and pretty much round one, I, I the match, well, in the first duel, I death cut his ass so bad that we, we pretty much passed, like, I'd say about a good 15, 20 turns, and he never really plays a monster. I pretty much just poke him the hell out of him with Castelli. He's like, oh my god, you cut me so bad, I can't do shit. Cause he just clogged, he just got clogged with a whole bunch of spells and traps. He had a whole bunch of black horns, he, I think he had black horn ready for me, but I never run anything, he just poked you. You know, like, if you're not gonna play anything, fine. He tried to fiendish chain me, he tried to do de present me, but eventually I just kept on so many monsters to poke him, so I won game one. Uh, game two, uh... He started doing a couple things, but in the end I just out-resourced him and I 2 would him, so now I'm 1-1. One, one. Alright, scraps. Awesome. Awesome. Nope, just set one back row. Okay. Ah, uh, I guess I'll go in Aramades. Why not? Why the fuck not? He wants to use that one black back row on my diva go ahead it's, i'm not gonna mst it i'd rather get this get the scrap factory i don't even know why he really searched scrap factory on first turn kind of revealing it to me whatever so now i'm one one effect veiler who the fuck plays effect veiler whatever i don't care don't even care it's getting annoying Poke you for 200. What do own fucking care? Don't even fucking care. Let me guess, that's a MST. Right? So when I set this MST during the end phase, you're gonna MST it during my end phase, right? During the end phase, MST! Right? That's surprising. Usually it's MST. Whatever. Don't care. Yeah, definitely saving this for frickin' Scrap Factory. Wow, he's just gonna set a monster. I forgot to put Goyo in. I still haven't put Goyo in. I forgot. Completely forgot. Uh, what do I have? You're level 2. I can go in Tom with you. Nah, yeah, Mades ain't bad. Let's go for Mades. Why not? Mades is good. Uh, round three, I duel against freaking fucking uh Evol's fucking Lagia Doka bullshit. Cause you know I love fucking just like that. Like in game one, he just opens up the tits. He first turns fucking Doka and Lagi at my ass. I'm like, alright. Starting off all great already. And, uh, I had pretty much nothing to beat Do Do Doka and Lagia, so I fucking scooped it up. Like in game two, uh, he opens up with a lightning prison here. So, and I had nothing for that. So he actually 2 owed me in like a matter of a couple minutes. But, um, I was actually playing down at that point. You're gonna call the hunted Maxi. No, I don't fucking give a shit. I was actually playing down at that point. He was already 0-2. I don't know how the hell he... He goes 0-2 because he says he opened up bad and he played shitty. Yet he fucking just trounces my ass. So, instead, he decides to be nice and uh, give me the win because he's 0-2 and he can't top anyway, so... Because that guy is so nice, I will be able to be successful in the tournament. So, now I'm technically 2-1 because he allowed me to, uh... Okay, so you're just going to tribute that for, a uh, Scrap Golem. That's it. Just to be a 25 beater. Seems kind of anticlimactic, but sure, I guess. 
I was expecting a lot more from you, Mr. Scrap Player. Not call the hunted Max C and attribute it for fucking Scrap Golem, but Scraps have consistency issues anyway, so not surprised. Yay, drew the controller. I can make I can make a fucking uh, Leo. That might be nice and powerful, actually. That might be actually nice and motherfucking powerful. So we're just gonna summon Megala. And we're just gonna summon the controller. But it's not too terrible to draw the controller. At least you can do something with it. I put Leo in here, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Okay, make Leo. And then he's gonna be, I'm gonna be like, what? <laughs> Leo too strong. Let's say, uh, I just got the foes destroyed by card effect. Okay, it's just by card effect, so I can kill you. I can at least kill you by battle. And nothing will happen. That's great. I don't know what the hell a scrap player is gonna really gonna do against a fucking Leo. Like, you can't target me. It's tough. It's tough. So, round four. Round four? Yeah, round four. I'm now two and one because the guy was nice enough to give me the win because he wasn't going to top anyway. Uh, I duel against... Uh, ooh, of course you have the fucking Dark Hole. Top deck too strong. Too fucking strong. Yeah, you got it. You got it. I can't win with losing in this fucking duel. I swear to God. I duel against fucking TG Stun. And oh my god, that was like the longest duel. Like round one last round one between me and him. Just one. Lasted a fucking half an hour. A fucking half an hour. Just for <laughs> one one. Like he flipped up my skill drain and my deck was derping, derping hard. Like it was like it was like, draw all the monsters, just draw all the fucking Constellar monsters. I drew all three Pollux's, then drew Naroda. I fucking, <laughs> I fucking just, oh my, it was terrible. It made me want to cry. I was like, oh my god, are you fucking shitting me? I drew, uh, I drew into my artifacts, all my artifacts, then drew into Ignition. It was, it was just, it was just terrible. So, he pretty much flipped skill drain up on my ass, and of course I couldn't, I had nothing for skill drain. Uh, I actually took out a fucking box out of my deck a long fucking time ago. So, go ahead and give me another one of you. So, uh, and his, his deck was pretty much a skill drain and then activate shit during the damage step. So he was running like TGs, he was running lances, he was running that, uh, that horn of the phantom beast, whatever the fuck it's called. And, you know, trying to get me during the damage step and draw cards like that. Eventually, I actually got it. Wow, my body has 100 life points left. This fucking struggle. I should have normal summoned. I should have did the math, actually. I didn't even normal summon this turn. Uh, I guess I'll just go ahead and go for uh, Draco Smack, and Draco Smack can go ahead and destroy the scrap factory for me. It doesn't gain any additional things when it's destroyed. No. Alright. Yes. Detach you. No. Bring back the two tokens. Bring back some of the two tokens. So, uh, the tech that I was actually running it in my deck, which I was trying out for tournament, I could save my ass, and that was running a malevolent catastrophe. So, he was like, oh, you can't do anything with skill drain, ha 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 ha, attack. And then as soon as he attacked, I was like, malevolent catastrophe? Destroy all my artifacts? Wipe that shit, some of my artifacts, he's like, oh my gosh, love to catch these two So I ended up beating that duel. And then game two, he pretty much never got the skill drain, and I, I beat him real easily, so I actually had two of them. Oh, opponent scooped it up. I do not have time to do another duel. It's, we're already 25 minutes, so I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, so I 2 0 him, and uh, now I believe I'm actually in seventh place at this point, so I had to, you know, I have to win my next duel to guarantee my top in the top eight. So, round. Five, I go up against the guy, I think he was, uh, I think he was fourth place, I think, and he was running Trick or Treat, if you guys don't know what Trick or Treat is, it's pretty much what Doce is combined with, uh, with Ghost Tricks, I know, sounds annoying, right, so, game one, he really doesn't get any back row, and I pretty much just go off, I can just go, I even overextend, I'm like, Pollux, Pollux, I'm gonna guide you, 
God, he summoned cost tack tack. Attack, attack, please attack. <laughs> you know, just like attack, 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 attack. And he was like, you can summon, you can summon the monsters if you want to. I don't really care. You know, then he kept on trying to set the GM cheat. I kept on bouncing it back to his hand. And then he got to reset it. And I just bounced it back to his hand. Just kicked his butt. So I took game one. Game two, he goes first. He sets the monster and then sets for a back row. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go for it. Something happens to him. I don't care. So I go first turn Exiton. And I wipe his back row. I wipe his field. And he had, he set a monster with four back row. None of the were answers for fucking exit time. So I wipe his field. He has one fucking card in his hand at that point. <laughs> and I pretty much just out resource him and lose because he pretty much ain't anything. So I 2 0 him. And I make it to top 8. So in top 8, round 1 of top 8, guess what I duel against? I duel against the fucking TG stun guy again! <laughs> So, he's like, I'm gonna beat you, Daniel, I wanna beat you. So, game one, uh, I beat him. I beat him, again. Game two, he top decks and gets so fucking lucky he beats me out. We're both, slate game, we're both down on resources. He, he's, he's drawing, he's top decking at this point. So, he pretty much has nothing, and I, I summon Paul, so I'm poking him. He draws, he has one face down card, I have one face down card. He goes, he has one card in hand, he goes, draw. Summon, uh, TG Striker, creature slot. So we switch. Then I was like, okay. He's like, I declared the attack with my Paulus under his TG Shark. And I'm like, activate Sanctum. And he's like, wiretap? I'm like, all right. So that's all he had left. And <laughs> that's all I had left. So he ended up taking game two by top decking. Game three, um, you know, we're, we're going off. And, <laughs> and he, he's, he's, he's taking the duel slow. And then he, he was just hiding behind back row. Hiding behind back row. And then I found the exploit, his major weakness of TG stun. I flipped up that Royal Decree, and he was just like, alright, made the Pleiades, Pleiades plus Royal Decree, shake my goddamn hand, whooped his ass, he had nothing left for me, and then, even if he would have, you know, popped the Royal Decree, <laughs> I actually had, in my back row, I actually had two, uh, Artifact Mortal Talks, and I had the Malevolent Catastrophe in my hand, so if he would have got rid of it, and then tried to, you know, attack me with Malevolent Catastrophe, and I had another Royal Decree, so you attack, Malevolent Catastrophe, wipe it all again, reset another Royal Decree, and then have two Mortal Talks, pop, pop, go ahead and go into another Pleiades, so, uh, beat him, uh, 2-1, and, uh, it was like, at this point, it was like 10 at night, going on 11, so, I was now in top 4, and we decided to split, we all agreed that, you know, when we made it to top 4, we decided to split, so, uh, we split it, each of us got 22.5, uh, dollars, so, you know, it cost $5, and I got 22.5 dollars in store credit, but, there's nothing to purchase, like, they have some cards in the freaking counter in the and you know encounter the case like, there's nothing good there they have no sleeves I was like, okay uh and actually a funny thing is that you guys know the cali effect the cali effect works there <laughs> he, so he was actually the one hosting the tournament and he, he was like i'm like so what do you, can you get with your card? he's like oh you can go to the front give you get some stuff and you can get all cards you can't get on my stuff like ah oh, man <laughs> I was like, there, can I get some of your cards, Cali Effect, with star credit? And he's like, nope, none of my cards. And so it's like, well, you work here, you're the manager, you think that you would actually take some of your cards and put it in for the store. So the store could actually have some uh, some good stock, but nope. So, I still have the 22.5 credit, and I guess I'll hold on to it until they get, A, get some sleeves, or A, get some parking cards that I actually want to get. So, that was pretty much my local support. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. Uh, when it comes to the 1,000 subscriber uh, uh, live stream, uh, we actually got to actually sit down, I believe, uh, Wednesday today. Uh, me and the four uh, tag people are going to sit down and we're going to talk and we're going to figure out a day when we can actually all be together and actually plan this. And I will try to get the you know information up to you as soon as possible. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow using Pendulum Chaos Dragon. Thanks for watching.